Chairman. Thank you, Ms. Richards, for being with us. Uh, I guess we're all products of our ex personal experience. We heard uh, the chairman, we heard the ranking member, uh, how their lives are affected. Uh, I guess when I was young, I had a different opinion, but when my wife and I lost our first child, um, uh, you, uh, you, your, your life and your philosophy change. And uh, from that time, I, I tried to be a champion for the unborn. Um, they don't have uh, advocates. Uh, <laughs> a lot of groups that get a lot of money advocating, but uh, uh, they don't have a, a very good lobby. Um, you are an advocate for uh, abortion, uh, and uh, your organization provides a significant number of abortions. Uh, I think the staff told me there are about 300,000 abortions last year in the United States. Is that approximate? Uh, about 300,000 at Planned Parenthood. At, at Planned Parenthood? That's correct. Sir. What's the total in the United States? I think it's about a million. I'm, I, I actually don't hold me to that, though. I'm not, I don't have so, the numbers in front of me. So basically, you provide about a third of the abortion. So you're the leader. You would probably have to be the leading provider of abortion in the country, your organization. I don't know if that's exactly true. I just can only know what we do. And, um, you know, I, I've had a uh, belief of some excep exceptions, um, but there are many people that I represent myself who object to any public money going into uh, into uh, abortions. I think the majority of Americans would uh, oppose public federal dollars going into abortion. Would you agree with that? I don't think that, I, I don't think the polling reflects that, but I guess, I, and it depends, I'm but, not familiar again, with your I district. Think you ask people, I think they would, and that, that's part of it. Now, your most recent controversy raised questions uh, about uh, public money in your organization. I looked at it, I was, <laughs> was kind of stunned. It's about 41% of your total money is federal money. That's not just a, a small amount, because if you had your, uh, the money you get from different programs, grants, et cetera, it's, it's 41 percent, and I've had that figure confirmed. That's a significant amount of money. Well, Congress no, nobody, I don't think most people have any problem with you spending the money on women's health care. I'm a strong advocate for that. Mm -hmm. uh, you have 650 clinics. Roughly, there are new ones opening you all the time. You told Loomis that you don't have one, you don't have one mammogram machine in one. Is We've it, never mammograms have never. So you don't do that, but you. We do you breast exams. You do. just like my own doctor does for. But right. your your breast exams actually are are down significantly, and I've got the uh, numbers from your reports from 830. 1,312 exams in 2009 to um, 487, 29 uh, in 2013, and that's those are from those are your statistics. Okay. So you're getting more uh, money. You're not spending it there now. Do all 650 of the clinics perform abortions? Or no, sir. How many? Roughly half provide abortion services. So half of the clinics. Again, this is where when 41% of the money is coming out of the public treasury, people become concerned. Uh, and there are people who uh, their religion, their principles, they feel very strongly, as do I, that no public money should go into this. Uh, the, Mr. Mr. Cummings said we should do everything we should to put money into research. You're not putting money into research. You know, you were criticized for your salary, which is, you know, a, it's a big uh, organization. But then you look at, uh, uh, where's the money going? In Minnesota, North Dakota, South Dakota, one employee got 459,000. In Southern New England, one employee got nearly 400,000, 398,000, another one in uh, Mar Monte, 387,000, another one, 377,000, another one, a quarter of a million dollars. There are dozens of employees with over two, a quarter of a million, in the quarter of a million well, dollar range. If people want the money to go for research, people want the money to go for 
um, for helping women with their health care, identifying the problem or putting the money where it can do the most good. Mm -hmm. And again, we don't, we have at least the perception of uh, it, it not being the case in the chairman outlined travel, uh, lavish uh, parties and, and, and expenses. And maybe you separate that money out, but I'm telling you, it does not look good. I yield back. Thank the gentleman. I would love that no. chance to really